this month. It's usually unpredictable, but the temperature's been crazy cold for weeks. Do you ever miss Kamina? Uh, why do you ask? Uh, I don't know, actually. I think maybe I'm just curious why you left. I wanted to see new places on the map, I think. Uh, other than where his rank put him, my dad never really traveled. And I just didn't want to be like him. At least not in that way. You doing okay? Just want to check in. Yeah, no, Jacob, I'm, I'm fine, really. Just thinking. Yeah, sorry. No problem. Either that's a new species of bird we're naming after me, or that is a phone ringing, uh, somewhere. Okay, we just did a major bingo square. Pay phone ringing in the wild? I should go outside and buy a lottery ticket. Oh, dude, you better be packing hand sanitizer. Uh, hello? Shelly? Park Ranger Shelly? The... Forest... Shelly! Not to... Cabin... More... My own... And... Norm... Of... My love... And... Sister... Sister? Wait, are you are, are you saying the park ranger and you are related or Gunnar technician John Gerald Shelley aboard the USS Kanaloa talks to a mess attendant about 
That must have been about the park ranger. That message on her answering machine was trying to lead us here, so we would tell her something. It sounded like, at least. We should call her on the walkie, let her know what happened. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a good idea. I think yours is the stronger connection, so whenever you want. Ranger Shelly, it's Riley, over. about that answering machine message I got? Over. But long story shrunk, we got a weird phone call and um, we got some sort of a warning and I think it was directed at you. So maybe think about not leaving your station for the rest of the night, over. Well, crud. It said I shouldn't leave the station anymore. I was just about to... I was just about to go do a check on another distress call. Do you, do you... Do you not think I should go? I sound stupid just asking, but... Don't go, Shelly. Seriously, it's not worth the risk. I'd listen to it. Over. Uh, this is so dumb, but... Uh, okay, sure. Sure, fine, fine. I'm... I'll stay put. I can radio in some support from other stations. See if they can cover. Uh, I hope this isn't some... I just hope this is something real. Okay, Riley. Radio if you need anything. And thanks for this. Over and out. This looks... I don't know. It would get us there fast, but the controls look pretty advanced. Do you know how to drive it? Uh, nope. I'd be worried about crashing into high water rocks. Let's find something simpler. This looks... fine. Yeah, here to there is all we need. It's Ava's. She runs a bait shop. She always tries to get me to go with her to field test new products. I guess so she could feel less guilty about fishing on the clock. Dude, she was totally flirting with you. I mean, clearly she had t-ball level game, but still, that's a proper flirt. Hey, Jake, let's go skewer some worms. That's when I knew we were meant to be. It's padlocked to the dock, and we need the key to start the thing. But I bet all the coins in my pocket that the key's in the shop. And knowing Ava, the door's probably unlocked. No one's exactly itching to steal leeches and wheelworms, so... Okay, so we need a code for the lock and a key for the boat. And hopefully some calm water after that. Come on. Wanna use this? I, I, I do not, and neither do you. Edwards is way too far out. This would take light years. We need something with a little more, uh, seahorse power? secures their damn doors in this town. Tomorrow I'm convincing Ava to buy a padlock. I'll stay out here and keep watch. If we're in trouble, I'll, uh, whistle or something. At least you remember to lock this. 7-Eleven is highlighted. Huh, okay. M-B? Ah, oh, sale on night crawlers me without my checkbook. 315 is pretty good, right? I have no idea what I'm saying. Aw, happy birthday, Marco. <laughs> that is a lot of chocolate cake. Wait, MB. Marco's birthday?
Okay, seriously, woman, are you trying to get your boat stolen? Eh, whatever. Gift horse, mouth, etc. I think we got everything we need. Did, did you hear that? Athena? Athena! Oh, Athena! You freaking knucklehead! Oh! I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god, I was so worried! Athena! You're okay, buddy! She seems all right. Oh. Okay, seriously, your dog is criminally cute. Oh, she really is. Adorable and a total dingus. That's my teeny theeny. You know how many TV remotes this mud has obliterated? Oh, uh, Athena, I swear to Vishnu, I'm getting you a bell. A very large bell that you can hear from Wisconsin. No more running off. Okay, seriously, this, this is sweet. Maybe too sweet. Oh, for sure, but like, I needed this real bad. Oh, man, this is... Oh, sorry. I'm uh, not usually like this, you know, but uh, it's been a long night. She's my home, you know? She's my home. It's just... It's nice to feel relieved. For once. It's okay, Jacob. It's all right. All right, come on, girl. I'll be right back. Like, right the hell back. So... Don't you wiggle away. You hear me? Be my good girl. Stay here. Sound good? Speak. <coughs> Sounds good. I have to do this thing. It's an opportunity to do something important. And, uh, if I don't make it back, it's not because I didn't try. Someone in town will take you in. They all know you. You'll, uh, you'll be okay. Okay? Okay. I'm ready. Think you know the code? Seven, one, one. Ta-da. Hey, nice work. Okie doke. After you, ladies first. Age before, ooh, um, mm. yeah, after you. Uh, hey, come on, get on. Jacob, I really, I think you should stay here. What? <laughs> no, I'm, what? <laughs> Riley, what are you doing? Why wouldn't I go? Look, Jacob, you should stay with Athena. What we're doing, what I have to do, it's, this is unacceptably dangerous. My conscience is already well below sea level. I'm not adding getting a guy killed who was just trying to do a job, okay? No, not okay. Riley, we have the same job. Just get on the boat. This is stupid. Riley. Please, Jacob, just go take care of your dog, okay? You found her. That's just take the win. Riley, come on. I'm going. Why pretend I'm not? You're gonna need my help. I, my dog will be fine. Really. You're not gonna die, are you? Because if you die, I'm not going to be a happy environmental researcher. We'll be okay. It's going to work out. Don't worry. I used to uh, 
pride myself on owning the very first issue of TV Guide. It has a the I Love Lucy baby on the cover. For months, that was my only goal to get it. I'm mentioning this because this is probably like the greatest thing I'm gonna do in my life. Helping you fix all this. There's no topping that. Like what would? Yeah, me neither, dude. But hey, at least we're aware of it. That's something. Ah, but how much of something? That's the tricky bit. It gets old being a fix-it man. Your job is to look at something broken. Just a lifetime of staring at failure. And hopefully, fixing it. There's honor in fixing things for people. You could say that's a noble profession. I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying it's complicated. It's just, this is gonna be it. This is the apex of my accomplishment. Another fix-it job. Bigger job, more important job, sure, but a fix-it job still. I don't know. This would have been nice if the number one spot was taken by something I created. Maybe that's selfish? I don't know. No, that's not selfish. That makes sense. I think we'd all like to be remembered for something more than she loved to laugh or some crap like that. If we remembered at all. Maybe this is the night it all turns around. As he sailed away from the silent city, socks still uncomfortably damp, Jacob Summers decided he'd fixed enough. After tonight, the only thing he would try to fix is himself. <laughs> yeah, how stupid does that sound, right? authentic and genuinely not sarcastic or smoke-blowing way, the beautiful, mysterious, well-dressed, and modest Riley Poverly told him, I believe in you, Jacob Summers. Thanks. I'm sure you have other things on your mind besides all this. Anyways. Oh, almost there. But first... For luck. Like when we crossed the bridge, you know? For luck. <laughs>